What does personal data refer to under GDPR? A. Any information related to an identified or identifiable natural person. B. Data collected by government agencies only. C. Information that is publicly available. D. Data processed by individuals in a personal capacity. Correct answer. A. Any information related to an identified or identifiable natural person. Which of the following is considered sensitive personal data under GDPR? A. Email addresses. B. Names and surnames. C. Racial or ethnic origin. D. Company registration numbers. Correct answer. C. Racial or ethnic origin. What is the primary difference between pseudonymous and anonymous data? A. Pseudonymous data can still be attributed to a specific individual with additional information. B. Anonymous data is not protected under GDPR. C. Pseudonymous data is not considered personal data under GDPR. D. Anonymous data can easily be linked back to an individual. Correct answer. A. Pseudonymous data can still be attributed to a specific individual with additional information. What role does a controller play in data processing activities? A. Determines the purposes and means of the processing of personal data. B. Carries out the actual processing of data on behalf of the controller. C. Monitors compliance with the GDPR. D. Acts as an intermediary between the data subject and the processor. Correct answer. A. Determines the purposes and means of the processing of personal data. Which of the following entities is directly responsible for processing personal data on behalf of the controller? A. Data Protection Officer. B. Supervisor Authority. C. Processor. D. Data Subject. Correct answer. C. Processor. Under GDPR, what is the territorial scope for companies established outside the EU? A. GDPR does not apply to companies outside the EU. B. Applies only if the company has an EU citizen as a customer. C. Applies if the company offers goods or services to, or monitors the behavior of, EU data subjects. D. Applies only if the company processes data within EU territory. Correct answer. C. Applies if the company offers goods or services to, or monitors the behavior of, EU data subjects. What principle requires that personal data should be kept no longer than necessary for the purposes for which it is processed? A. Accuracy. B. Storage limitation. C. Integrity and confidentiality. D. Proportionality. Correct answer. B. Storage limitation. Which lawful basis for processing allows for processing personal data if it's necessary for the performance of a contract? A. Consent B. Contractual necessity C. Legal obligation D. Legitimate interests. Correct answer. B. Contractual necessity. What obligation does the GDPR impose regarding the provision of information to data subjects? A. Only requires notification in case of a data breach. B. Mandates that information must be provided in a concise, transparent, intelligible, and easily accessible for MC. Allows for information to be provided only upon request. D. Requires all information to be provided in written form. Correct answer. B. Mandates that information must be provided in a concise, transparent, intelligible, and easily accessible form. Which right allows a data subject to obtain from the controller confirmation as to whether or not personal data concerning him is being processed? A. Right to erasure B. Right to restrict processing C. Right to access D. Right to data portability. Correct answer. C. Right to access. What constitutes a personal data breach under GDPR? A. Any disagreement between a data subject and a controller B. A breach of security leading to the accidental or unlawful destruction, loss, alteration, unauthorized disclosure of, or access to, personal data transmitted, stored or otherwise processed c. A formal complaint made by a data subject to a supervisory authority d. Any processing of personal data without consent. Correct answer. b. A breach of security leading to the accidental or unlawful destruction, loss, alteration, unauthorized disclosure of, or access to, personal data transmitted, stored or otherwise processed. What is required for a controller to demonstrate compliance with GDPR's accountability principle? A. Only need to appoint a data protection officer B. Must be able to prove that a data protection impact assessment has been conducted for all processing activities C. Must maintain records of processing activities and implement data protection by design and by default D. Only required to have a privacy policy in place. Correct answer. C. Must maintain records of processing activities and implement data protection by design and by default. Which mechanism is specifically designed to facilitate the lawful transfer of personal data outside the EU? A. Data localization. 
b data minimization c standard contractual clauses d consent of the data subject correct answer c standard contractual clauses what is the role of the european data protection board edpb a enforces gdpr compliance for specific companies b provides a platform for data subjects to file complaints c contributes to the consistent application of gdpr across data under gdpr a email addresses b names c racial or ethnic origin d company names correct answer c racial or ethnic origin what distinguishes pseudonymous data from anonymous data a pseudonymous data cannot be attributed to a specific data subject without additional information b anonymous data can be easily linked to a specific individual c pseudonymous data is fully anonymous d anonymous data is a form of sensitive personal data correct answer a pseudonymous data cannot be attributed to a specific data subject without additional information what role does a controller play in data processing under gdpr a executes the processing of personal data on behalf of the controller b determines the purposes and means of processing personal data c is responsible for the technical aspects of data processing d acts as the data protection officer for a processing operation correct answer b determines the purposes and means of processing personal data under gdpr what criteria applies to a lawful basis for processing personal data a public interest only b consent contractual necessity legal obligation vital interests public interest and legitimate interest c the data subjects physical location d the size of the processing organization correct answer b consent contractual necessity legal obligation vital interests public interest and legitimate interests what principle requires data controllers to implement appropriate technical and organizational measures to ensure and to be able to demonstrate that processing is performed in accordance with the gdpr a data minimization b accountability c transparency d storage limitation correct answer b accountability which of the following is a data subject's right under gdpr a the right to internet access b the right to be informed c the right to data portability d the right to unlimited data storage correct answer c the right to data portability what is required for transferring personal data to a third country or an international organization under gdpr a the data subject's explicit consent for each transfer b approval from each eu member state c ensuring an adequate level of protection or implementing appropriate safeguards d notification to the local data protection authority only correct answer c ensuring an adequate level of protection or implementing appropriate safeguards what does the gdpr territorial scope extend to a only organizations established within the eu b organizations established within the eu and those targeting or monitoring individuals in the eu c any global organization regardless of its interactions with eu residents d only organizations that process personal data of eu citizens correct answer b organizations established within the eu and those targeting or monitoring individuals in the eu what is the purpose of a data protection impact assessment dpia under gdpr a to assess the financial impact of data processing activities b to ensure compliance with international data transfer requirements c to identify and mitigate risks related to personal data processing activities d to document the types of personal data an organization collects correct answer c to identify and mitigate risks related to personal data processing activities how does gdpr define processing in the context of personal data a only the collection and storage of personal data b any operation performed on personal data whether or not by automated means c the dissemination of personal data to third parties d processing strictly involves data destruction processes correct answer b any operation performed on personal data whether or not by automated means what constitutes a special category of personal data under gdpr a employee records within a company b data related to criminal convictions and offenses c biometric data for the purpose of uniquely identifying a natural person d internet browsing history correct answer c biometric data for the purpose of uniquely identifying a natural person under gdpr what distinguishes a processor from a controller a a processor is the main entity responsible for data privacy while the controller is secondary b the processor processes personal data on behalf of the controller c the controller is an eu specific role 
whereas the processor can be based anywhere D, processes determine the purpose of data processing, controllers execute the processing. Correct answer, B, the processor processes personal data on behalf of the controller. Which of the following best describes the principle of data minimization under GDPR? A. Collecting as much personal data as possible for future USEB, ensuring personal data collected is adequate, relevant, and limited to what is necessary C. Limiting the processing of personal data to storage only D. Reducing the amount of sensitive personal data collected. Correct answer. B. Ensuring personal data collected is adequate, relevant, and limited to what is necessary. What is the role of the European Data Protection Board under GDPR? A. To process personal data complaints from EU citizens. B. To oversee the application of GDPR, ensuring consistent application across the EU. C. To enact new data protection laws in the EU. D. To serve as the data protection authority for non-EU countries. Correct answer. B. To oversee the application of GDPR, ensuring consistent application across the EU. What does the right to be forgotten under GDPR entail? A. The right to have personal data erased under certain conditions. B. The right to prevent data from being processed in the future. C. The right to have inaccurate personal data corrected. D. The right to stop the distribution of personal data on the internet. Correct answer. A. The right to have personal data erased under certain conditions. How does GDPR address automated decision making and profiling? A. It prohibits all forms of automated decision making and profiling. B. It allows unrestricted automated decision making and profiling. C. It provides individuals with rights to obtain human intervention, express their point of view, and contest the decision. D. It mandates the use of automated decision making for efficiency. Correct answer. C. It provides individuals with rights to obtain human intervention, express their point of view, and contest the decision. What are the criteria for appointing a data protection officer, DPO, under GDPR? A. Any organization can appoint a DPO if they process personal data. B. Appointment is mandatory for public authorities and bodies, organizations that perform large-scale systematic monitoring, or large-scale processing of special categories of data. C. Only organizations with more than 250 employees are required to appoint a DPO. D. DPO appointment is voluntary and not mandated by GDPR. Correct answer. B. Appointment is mandatory for public authorities and bodies, organizations that perform large-scale systematic monitoring, or large-scale processing of special categories of data. In what circumstances can personal data be transferred outside the EU according to GDPR? A. Only with the explicit consent of each data subject. B. When the European Commission has decided that the third country ensures an adequate level of protection. C. Transfers can occur at any time without any specific conditions. D only between EU member states. Correct answer. B. When the European Commission has decided that the third country ensures an adequate level of protection. What does the principle of integrity and confidentiality under GDPR imply for personal data? A. Data should be made publicly available to ensure transparency. B. Data should be processed in a manner that ensures its security, including protection against unauthorized or unlawful processing and against accidental loss, destruction or damage. C. Data can be shared without restrictions to maintain data flow. D. Data must be encrypted regardless of its nature. Correct answer. B. Data should be processed in a manner that ensures its security, including protection against unauthorized or unlawful processing and against accidental loss, destruction or damage.